first of all, my perspective from a police service, public safety um, perspective, I believe PERF, the Police Executive Research Forum, did an outstanding job analyzing the operations of the 16 municipal police departments in Dauphin County. The study was uh, devoid of any political considerations, which I believe is the best means to study an issue like this. The report was thorough and understandable. It lays out several excellent options for our county and its municipal entities to enhance and improve police services for any municipality who would choose to participate. An added bonus to improving police services and public safety for our citizens is cost savings. These cost savings are the result of a careful analysis and the utilization of industry-wide police staffing formulas, which took into account the number of service calls, the uniform crime report data, and the geography of the agencies being considered, patrol zone coverage, efficiency in answering calls for service, and the efficiency of investigating crime across jurisdictional boundaries. Cost savings are realized immediately and can be maximized over time through attrition with the reduction of the number of full-time equivalent officers that currently are needed to staff much smaller agencies on a 24-7 basis. This reduction takes into account no longer needing part-time police officers who are calculated as part of the full-time equivalent currently being used. The study showed that larger consolidated agencies can provide increased patrol coverage, more specialized services such as traffic safety units, and specialized criminal investigators that most of our municipalities do not currently enjoy. Other savings come in the form of streamlined organizational structures, cooperative purchases of equipment such as vehicles and uniforms, and savings in overtime costs and facility upkeep, to name only a few. I also um, would like to update uh, the current agreement that Swadera Township has with Pakistan Borough. We've been at it for nine months now, and from my perspective, things are going extremely well. Uh, I have frequent communications with the borough manager and the mayor, and either myself or one of my lieutenants has attended at least one borough council meeting on a monthly basis and provided borough council and their citizens with an activity report and answered all questions they had on police services in the borough. The feedback that I've gotten from citizens, borough officials, and other police officers has all been very positive, and I believe we've enhanced the public safety for the citizens of Pakistan. I believe we've earned their trust and we will strive to keep doing that as we move forward. Um, Mayor Nanoski um, wrote me uh, an email uh, with some of his comments, and I, which I can share with the public this morning if you'd like. Uh, Mayor Nanoski wrote to me, I believe that the transition from having our own police department to a contracted services agreement has gone very well. From my perspective, the transition has been mostly seamless. However, I do not want to diminish all the work put in by you and your department in making it look that way. I have not received any complaints about service, and I've only heard positive comments from citizens who address our police coverage. My observation is that regular patrols are occurring in the borough, and response times for service have been very good. I believe the agreement has been a win-win for our residents, and that we are receiving solid service for, from a professional police department at what will eventually be a lower cost to the taxpayers of Pakistan. You and your department have gone out of your way to make the residents of Pakistan feel as if Squadera Police is their police department, irrespective of municipal lines. For that, I am grateful. I would recommend this type of arrangement for any municipality in Dauphin County, as long as they are willing partners to the arrangement as we had in our situation. Paul, uh, for, for everyone in the room and, and certainly the, the media, it's important to recognize the county commissioners in exercising the leadership in uh, pushing forward with this study because the efficiency of the government no matter what level uh, starts with elected officials and and these three gentlemen uh, have exercised great leadership in putting this study forward now where do we go from here uh, it, there's no irony that it's budget time for all of us uh, in our municipalities across the county and uh, you know budgets are tight and costs keep going up whether it's medical benefits uh, or, or whatever it is to sustain a municipal government and I'm sure that this study has pointed out in, in every case with this full-time police department in Dalton County that police department by and large is the largest portion of that municipal budget so you're always going to get the attention of the local elected officials uh, I think it's a good study I think it's important for all of us to understand this is the starting point and we need to move forward and moving forward uh, starts 
really a hard work, and that hard work lays with the local officials wanting to get together and start that conversation to make things happen. Because I think I can speak for my profession, it's never been law enforcement that wanted to stand in the way of regionalization. As long as their pay and benefits were protected, uh, which is important, um, they certainly see the value of efficiency, and they see the value of uh, larger regional departments that provide them more career opportunity as they go forth in their career. So the, the, you know, the, the crux of this study is cost savings. And none of us, whether we're in the profession or we're an elected official or we're a citizen paying that tax bill every year, can ignore that. And uh, I just want to thank you, uh, not only as a police professional, but as a, a tax paying citizen of this county for pushing this forward, making this a priority, and giving our elected officials a starting point to have that conversation.